and that this is day two of our Janmashtami program, which is seven days, seven stories, and seven songs. But of course, in our Lord Krishna's generosity, it's going to be seven days, but more than seven stories and more than seven songs. So let us begin with invoking the presence of the Divine Lord, the Purna Avatar, Lord Krishna. We begin with three ohms and the invocation. Om Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kansa Chanur Mardanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru Let us chant the Maha Mantra together. Get us in the mood for Krishna's energy. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Let us all sing the praises of dear Lord Krishna. Jai Bajrang Bali Jiki Jai is when what what we say to Lord Hanuman, and what do we say to Lord Krishna? Jai Bolo Krishna Kanaya Lala Ji Ki Jai Well dear friends Yesterday we left the story Telling you all about Krishna's cruel and despotic uncle King Kants Now when he was trying to kill Whom he thought was Devaki's eighth child, child His murderer Kants got the shock of his life 
child he was about to kill. He was going to fling it from the legs and smash it against the wall. This child flew out of his hands and disappeared and then spoke as Akash Vani. Let me just make myself a little bit bigger. One moment, please. I'm going to stop the share. There we go. Is that much better? Thank you. Khan's got the shock of his life when the child he was about to smash against the wall flew out of his hands, disappeared, and then spoke as Akash Vani. Literally meaning, Akash means ether or space, and Vani meaning speech. So this speech from the air. This eighth child was none other than Yoga Maya, who incidentally was Krishna's half-sister. She informed Krishna, your killer, your annihilator, is still very much alive, O cunts. Be warned, beware. Oh my goodness. Robbed of his peace, Kant became very anxious, very agitated. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't sit still. He fretted and he fumed his way through the whole month, so upset that his vanquisher was nearby somewhere and getting stronger with each day. When his guards and his spies finally found out that there was a likely candidate living in Gokul, who was son to Nanda and Yashoda, Kans felt a certain thrill of satisfaction that this was indeed the child he was looking for. He immediately sent for a highly skilled demoness called Putana to kill Krishna. Putana was a very clever, very intelligent um, demoness. What she did was she transformed herself from this hideous, gigantic, saber-toothed type woman creature into a beautiful woman and made her way to Gokul where Nanda, Yashoda and Krishna lived. Now she appeared so beautiful, so charming and elegant that the people of the city seeing her couldn't believe that she could be bad in any way at all. And so she was able to make her way unobstructed not only to the house but by giving sweet compliments to Yashoda she actually got into the very room where Krishna lay sleeping. She made such loving remarks about the baby that Yashoda actually let her pick up the child and even, even to nurse the child. They didn't know that Putana had smeared her nipples with a deadly poison. But when she picked up the baby to nurse it, Krishna, baby Krishna, clamped down upon her breast and sucked out the poison with no ill effects to him. But then he proceeded to suck the life out of Putana. In great pain, she tried to take Krishna away from her breast, but couldn't. He just wouldn't let go. She squirmed and writhed. He wouldn't let go. And she then decided to run as fast as she could. She ran from the house as fast as her legs would carry her, with baby Krishna still attached to her. Oh, how she screamed and thrashed, writhing in pain, but he would not let go. The shrieks and yells of this beautiful woman brought the villagers of Gokul out of their houses, out of their fields. They stopped washing the laundry. They stopped milking the cows. They stopped bringing in the harvest to gaze wide-eyed in wonder and horror at this strange scene of this beautiful woman running and screaming with their darling Krishna at her breast. Krishna wouldn't let go. Putana kept running and running and running and running. After all, she was a demoness, so she was very, very strong. And behind her ran the village of Gokul, wondering what was going on. Finally, finally, Putana could not run any further. The poison she had smeared on her milk breast to kill Krishna entered into her own system, and she soon collapsed and died. As soon as she died, she reverted to her original huge, giant-sized demonic form. All the villagers who had been chasing this crazed woman were shocked, aghast, 
at this ugly witchery. <gasps> it is said that Putana's giant body toppled all the trees for 12 miles as she ran crazily away. Phew! And Krishna? Well, he was just fine. He simply giggled and gurgled and slid himself off the giant demoness's body, happily crawling his way to Maya Shoda, who was kneeling at the edge of the crowd, terrified and trembling for her little boy. She took him in her arms and hugged him tight, so relieved that this crazy episode was over. Well, now that we're done with the scary story of baby Krishna killing the demoness Putana, why don't we take a quick musical break and say victory to our dear Lord Krishna. Go vind vind go pal Krishna jai go pal 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 radha Krishna jai Go vind Krishna jai go pal Krishna jai go pal 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 radha Krishna jai Krishna jai Krishna jai Krishna jai Krishna 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 jai Krishna Jai, Krishna Jai, Krishna Jai, Krishna 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 Jai, Go in the Krishna Jai, Go Pal Krishna Jai, Go Pal Pal Pal, Kuala Krishna Jai, Go in the Krishna Jai, Go Pal Krishna Jai, Go Pal Gwal, Radha Bala Krishna Jai. Gopikamala Hari Pyari Mai Mira Manavi Hari Madana Mohana Murali Dhari Krishna Jai Gopikamala Hari Pyari Mai Mira Manavi Hari Madana Mohana Murali Dhari Krishna Jai Krishna Jai Krishna Jai Krishna Jai Krishna 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 Jai Krishna Jai Krishna Jai Krishna Jai Krishna 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 Jai Krishna Jai Radha Krishna Jai Gwala Krishna Jai Bala Krishna 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 Jai Govinda Krishna Jai Gopala Krishna Jai Gopala Bala Bala Gwala Krishna Jai See even I'm panting because I was also running after Putana and trying to rescue Lord Krishna. So, dear friends, I thought we'd have a treat today and I want to continue a story, another story. About 21 kilometers from Brindavan, the district of Uttar Pradesh in India, there is an eight kilometer long hill that's located in the areas of Radha Kund and Govardhan. Can you guess what the story is about? No? Do you want another clue? All right, here we go. Another name for Krishna is Giridhar Gopala. And Giri means mountain. Got it? Yes, it's the story of Lord Krishna living, lifting up the Govardhan mountain. According to ancient Vaishnava legends, the Devas, the Deva Indra, and the Deva is like a guardian angel. Indra was the demigod of rain and lightning, basically weather. He was feared by human beings because, you know, he was quite cantankerous and moody. He'd either give the people no rain or he sent floods if he wasn't satisfied with their worship. Now, when Krishna started to see huge preparations being made for the annual offering to the god of the elements, Indra, he asks his father, Nanda Baba, about it. So Nanda tells him, well, you know, we offer every year these um, offerings to Indra because otherwise he gets a bit upset with us and sends rain or drought. Krishna, Krishna isn't happy with the answer at all. So he also has a debate with the villagers about what their dharma truly is. He tells them, you are farmers. Your dharma is to concentrate on farming and protecting your cattle. You shouldn't be praying and conducting sacrifices for natural phenomenon like rain. If anything, if any gratitude is to be given, 
It should be to the cows who give you milk whether it's rain or sunny, whether it's storm. You know, that's who you should be giving uh, gratitude to. You should be giving gratitude and offering thanks to the Govardhan mountain, upon which grow all manner of herbal plants, which you use to maintain your good health. Also, this is where your cows graze. This is where you have lovely little rivers, where you can cool yourself in the hot days. So after explaining his case, they said, yes, you're right. So they were convinced by Krishna and decided not to proceed with the special prayers to Lord Indra. Instead, they started offering the same things to Govardhan and to the cows. So Indra got rather surprised when no aromatic sense of incense wafted up to him in the heavens and no luscious fruits and foods appeared as prashad. He could see from his high lofty place that prayers were going on, but to whom are they praying if not to me? When he took a closer look, he saw all the cows of Gokul beautifully garlanded and decorated with bur incense burning sweetly in front of them, coconuts offered to them, and all manner of delicious foods to the Govardhan mountain. Indra got really, really angry. He saw green, not red, he saw green, the color of jealousy. And he said, mm, I shall teach those simpletons a lesson they'll never forget. I shall flood their land with rains, lasting for seven days and seven nights. And immediately, whoosh, he sent down a ferocious storm. Winds blew away all the offerings, flash floods and rain wiped out all the traces of the pujas, and the villagers, blessed them, ran hither and thither, not knowing what to do or where to run for safety. This is all because Krishna asked us not to pray to India. Now look, we're being punished. So running to Krishna, they implored, Krishna, Krishna, what shall we do? Where shall we go? Our women and children have no protection from this torrential rain. Seeing their plight from on high, Indra sneered and laughed and sent down another lashing of rain just for good measure. Hmm. Krishna softly smiled and in a comforting voice he said, My dear villagers, bring all the rest of the villagers and the cows, the goats and the chickens, all the children to our friend the Govardhan mountain. I'll be waiting for you here. All will be well and you shall be very safe. While the villagers collected everyone together, they came back to the mountain and oh, they were amazed to see little Krishna standing underneath Govardhan Giri, Giridhari, right? He was standing underneath the mountain. He was holding it aloft with his fingers. No, not his fingers, his little finger. Everyone was happily astounded and they rushed underneath for dry shelter. And there was so much room under the mountain that not even the driving rain could penetrate and wash them away. They were so relieved that they started to sing in joy as they dried out. Indra couldn't believe his ears. Huh? Singing? Cheerfully? What on earth was going on? On earth? Peeping in with his third eye, Indra was shocked to see all the villagers safely under Mount Govardhan with little Krishna holding it up to protect his people and cattle from the rain. It then <clears throat> dawned on mighty Lord Indra that this young boy was far superior to him. And he realized that this was indeed the Lord of Lords, Lord Vishnu himself. Indra finally accepted defeat, recognizing Krishna as supreme. And as he was engulfed with waves of embarrassment and shame, and then awe and humility, the storm automatically abated and passed on as swiftly as it had arisen. The sun came out, drying the dripping leaves on the trees and making good and warm the thatched roofs of the villagers' huts. So, Jai Jai Prabhu Giri Dhari Natvar Nand Lala Jai Jai Prabhu Giri Dhari 
நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா கிரிதர் கோபாலிரிதர் கோபால கிரிதர் கோபால கிரிதர் கோபால ஜெய ஜெய பிரபு கிரிதாரி நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா ஜெய ஜெய பிரபு கிரிதாரி நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா நட்டுவர நந்தலாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா ஹே கிரிதர் கோபாலா கிரிதர் கோபால ஹே கிரிதர் கோபால ஹே கிரிதர் கோபால கிரிதர் கோபால ஜெய ஜெய பிரபு கிரிதாரி நட்டுவர நந்தன So the wonderful little Lord Krishna, so wonderfully carrying the Giridhari, the Govardhan mountain. So now you know when you see the word Giri, you know it means mountain. And often if it's to do with Krishna, it refers to the Govardhan mountain. And you know the Govardhan mountain, it still exists today. As I said at the beginning of this story, if you go to, let me find the place, so you can actually look it up. And if you're ever visiting that part of the world in India, you can go to Uttar Pradesh in the Mathura district and it's about 21 kilometers from Vrindavan. It is more of what we would call a hillock, which is a small hill. Maybe at that time it was much higher and over 5,000 years has got eroded just a little bit. So dear friends, I'm so glad that you joined me today. Today, let us leave our stories of beautiful Lord Krishna and come back tomorrow. It's Saturday, the 8th of August, and it's going to be at a different time, remember. Saturday and Sunday is going to be at 5 p.m. UK time. So tomorrow, our platform will be on Divine Beats. The Zoom ID and the bit.ly link will be given in the event post, and I shall also put it on both my Facebook pages, but it'll be in the event post on Renu Gidamal Music, Renu Gidamal Official. And we're going to be sharing some miraculous stories and magical melodies. Now remember, tomorrow's session is going to be for an hour. So we're going to have lots of lovely stories and more bhajans about Lord Krishna. Please be a little early if you can, so we can start sharp at 5 p.m. and make the most of our beautiful, precious time together. Jai Krishna Kanai Lal Ji Ki Jai See you tomorrow